Hey, it's Rival, GM Riven OTP. This is going to be a concise and to the point guide of the FastQ combo in Season 12. Uh, it's kind of always been the same, but here I'll discuss a few optimizations high LA Riven players have found for the FastQ over the seasons, as well as the tutorial on the animation cancel itself. Firstly, let's show what we're actually teaching. The upcoming examples are both level 1 with no items, legend tenacity, and an adaptive shard. And now, an example of no FastQ. Here is a side by side to show the speed difference. To actually do this, I'm going to slow down my example and give a breakdown of what's happening. Firstly, you should leave with a standard auto as it can be cancelled with Q1. As soon as that auto lands, cast Q1 and then input a movement command by clicking the ground near where Riven is and then auto attack. This breaks the auto attack animation and the Q animation lockout. Immediately after, click back on the enemy and cast the same sequence for Q2 and Q3. The next technique is fast Q dancing. This allows you to pass through the opposing champion, making it harder for them to hit melee abilities or land skill shots. Think along the lines of Yasuo or Yone Q, Aurelia E or Mordekaiser Q, all the while still having a faster than normal damage output. This is done the same as the fast Q. The movement input just has to be opposite of where you're standing through the enemy champion. Here's an example. And the last fast Q technique, which I think was popularized by BoxBox Box, and is a pretty advanced in APM, is the 3Q flash technique. You have to be altered for this, as your third Q with ult outranges most champions auto attacks. This begins with Q1 and 2 as normal, then you flash out of enemy auto attack range, then 3Q back in to knock them up and give you the last auto in without being autoed yourself. This is only really useful when you have a sliver of health and the enemy is the same, but can be the difference between winning a duel and losing. Next we'll cover runes. Pretty standard Conqueror setup, the main things to focus on here is that we take tenacity almost always as Riven kind of gets a bypass on attack speed with the fast Q. By cancelling the auto animation we can artificially give her attack speed. While Alacrity does feel nicer, it isn't really necessary. You should just practice with tenacity because Alacrity will almost never give you a game saving outcome whereas tenacity may. The secondary focus is your first shard. Always opt for adaptive or CDR shard. Again, attack speed isn't necessary and the other two shards give extremely good stats on Riven. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and sub for more educational content. I also stream at twitch.tv forward slash